Okay, as usual, hello, welcome. Uh, we're just going to go straight into the class. So you are going to need your student book. You will need your workbook, but only when I say please take out your workbook. You're going to need a pencil, maybe an eraser. I hope not, but maybe. And as usual, if you have them, earphones, headphones. If you don't have them, that's OK. But please turn the sound up, turn the sound right up so you can hear me. OK, brilliant. Let's go. OK, let's review. That means look at again the words for the actions in unit number one. These actions are for the special days. This is on uh, page eight of your student book, but please don't open your student book. Look at the pictures here in the video and see if you can remember what can you remember about the actions. Let's look at picture number one. So we're going to look and then we're going to say the words. So picture number one, look at the picture. What's he doing? It's a boy. Can you remember? Make cards. Number two, it's a girl and her mother. What's this action? Hug my mum. Number three, this girl has a has a little tree. What's she doing? Number three. Plant trees. Number four. Mm, this boy is eating. Eat turkey. Number five. It's Halloween. What did this girl do? What is her action? Number five. Yes. Wear a costume. Wear a costume. And number six, it's Christmas. What is this boy doing? What is his action? Number six. Open presents. How many could you remember? If you could remember three, that's good. If you could remember four or five or six, that's very good. OK, let's carry on. OK, now I want to see if you can remember how we change the action word for he and she. Remember, I and you, the action word has no S. But for he and she, action words have an S in the answer. So, for example, I eat, you eat, no S. He eats, she eats, action with S. Can you remember? Let's see what you can do here. I'm going to give you the word I, you, he or she. Does the action have S or no S? And can you remember the action? Here we go. Picture number one. I. What's the word? I eat. Picture number two. He. He. What's the action word? He opens. He opens presents. Number three. You. Can you remember the action word? You plant. You plant trees. Number four. He. He. So what's the action word? Is it S or no S? He wears. He wears a costume. I. What's the action word? I hug. I hug my mum. And she. What is this action for Valentine's Day? She 
makes. She makes cards for Valentine's Day. Did you get them all? Do you understand? I, you, action, no S. He, she, action with S. He opens presents. She makes cards. OK, time to look at the workbook. So we're going to look at page number three in your workbook. You can see it here. Page number three, C and D. You will need a pencil. You might need your eraser. I'm not sure. Here is part C, read and match. And here is part D, look and write. OK, so now I'm going to tell you what you have to do. Here we can see part C and D from the workbook, page number three. So if we look at part C, it's read and match, and part D, look and write. Here we have three questions for part C. The questions are the same. Number one, what's your favourite day? Number two, what's your favourite day? Number three, what's your favourite day? Now the answers are number one, my favourite day is Mother's Day. For number two, my favourite day is Halloween. And number three, my favourite day is Valentine's Day. Now what do you have to do? You have to read and then match. Match means show me you understand which question and answer goes with which picture. The pictures are labelled A, B, C. You need to draw a line from the question and answer to the correct picture. It could be this, it might be that, it might not be that. It could be that. Is it this? How about that? OK, so you have to draw a line from the question and answer to the correct day. That is part C. Part D, let's look at question one. Question one is finished. A is the question, what's her favourite day? If we look at question number one, we can see picture number one. Picture number one, a girl has planted a tree. Now, what day do we plant trees? Let's look at the answer. B, her favourite day is Earth Day. So we say her because it's a girl. Remember her, Kong Kao Pu Ying. Her favourite day is Earth Day. Do you remember the word favourite? Chop ma ti sut. So her favourite day is Earth Day. Now look at question two, question three and question four. Each one of these questions, you must look at the picture. Picture two, question two. Picture three, question three. Picture four, question four. You must give me the same question and answer, the same question and answer that is in number one but you must change her to his, if it is a boy. Remember his, what is his? Kong Kao Pu Chai. And you must change the special day in the answer. Look at the pictures, please. Okay. Okay, for part C and part D, you will need to open your workbook. You need a pencil. You need to look at page number three. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do part C and part D. Part C, I think you will do very quickly. You just have to draw three lines. OK, pause the video now and please take 10 minutes to finish part C and part D. Pause the video and when you are finished, come back and start the video, play the video from here, and we will look at the answers. Please don't cheat and try not to look in your student book. If you have to look in your student book, that is OK. But please try not to look in your student book. OK, off you go. Ten minutes, part C and D, page number three in your workbook. Go, go, go. See you in ten minutes. Here is part C, 
page number three in your workbook, we're going to look at the answers. Number one, what's your favourite day? My favourite day is Mother's Day. Is Mother's Day A, B or C? It's B. Number one is B. Number two, what's your favourite day? My favourite day is Halloween. <laughs> So number two, what's your favourite day? My favourite day is Halloween. It's C. Number two is C. Number three, what's your favourite day? My favourite day is Valentine's Day. So number three must be A. Okay. So the answers are number one is B, number two is C, and number three is A. Did you get them all? Great. There they are. Okay, here's part D. Let's look at the answers for part D. This is page number three, part D. So number one, you know number one because it is already written in the book. What's her favourite day? Picture number one, it's a girl, her. The answer, her favourite day is Earth Day. Number two, look at the picture. The boy is eating turkey. What's his favourite day? Now, if the question is his, what's his? The answer will be his. They are the same. His and his. So, his favourite day is, when do they eat turkey? Thanksgiving. Okay, that's number two. Number three. It's a girl dressed as Santa. She has a big sock. Maybe you can put presents in the sock. So what's the question? Number three, what's her favourite day? What's the answer? Her favourite day is her, because it's a girl. Her, Kong Kao Pu Ying, her favourite day is Christmas Day. Okay, the last one, number four. Number four, question, it's a boy. What's his favourite day? And the answer, well, he's dressed as a vampire. He's got a, a, um, a pumpkin for trick or treat. So I guess it must be his favourite day is Halloween. Did you get that? All good? Everything good? Okay. Uh, let's move on and we will look at one more thing. Okay. What are you doing? Ah. <gasps> Surprise! Let's do the days of the week. Have you forgotten them? Can you remember them? Come on, there's only seven. Are you ready? Days of the week. With me. Say it with me. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Monday. Next. Tuesday. Next. Wednesday. Next. Thursday. Next. Friday. Next, Saturday. And number seven, go, Sunday. Did you remember all of them? We must remember the days of the week. They are very, very important, okay? Did you get them all? Good job. Okay, let's look at page number four in the workbook. There is a two parts to this page. There is part A and part B. Part A is look and circle. Part B is look and connect. Connect means to touch two words with a line, connect. Okay, so part A, look at number one. There are three words. Two of the words are actions. 
and one word is the thing. You must circle the correct action word and the thing. So number one, do we need cards? In unit one, do we need cards or do we make cards? Well, if you look, you can see that the line is already there. Number one, make cards. Now you need to tell me number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Circle the correct action and thing. Okay, part B. Here's number one. Look and connect. You must connect the correct word to make the sentence. There are one, two, three, four, five, five words in the middle of this sentence. So we have the question, what? Then we have do and does. Then we have the word you. Then we have do or does. And then we have on Halloween. So we have the special day. Well, if we look here, number one, we already have a line. What do, because you in the question must be do. Action number one, do. What do you do on Halloween? What do you do on Halloween? Now I want you to finish this question number one with your pencil. You must draw the lines from do to you, then you to do, and then do to on Halloween. And then I want you to answer this question. I, I, wear or wears? I wear a costume, I wears, a costume? Only one of those is okay. One is wrong. I want you to draw a line, connect the correct words. Do this for number two. Okay, right. Okay, so these two parts of page number four are in your workbook, page number four. You can pause the video now, this video with me, pause it. Only joking. And then when you have done it, I'm gonna give you five minutes because I think it's quite easy. There's no writing, just draw a line or draw a circle. When you have done that, press play here. And we will look at the answers. Please take five minutes to do this. Please don't cheat, okay? Don't look at the video for the answers. Try and do this up here first. You need your pencil and your workbook, page number four. Okay, five minutes and come back and play and we will look at the answers. Go. Okay, so you have finished the workbook, page number four. I hope. Now let's check the answers. You can have your workbook open and you can check your answers with me now. Okay, we're looking at part A. Look and circle of page number four in your workbook. Number one, make cards or need cards? Well, here they have given you the answer make cards. Number two, water trees or plant trees? Can you remember from unit one? Plant trees. Number three, wear a costume, buy a costume. Yeah, it's wear, wear a costume. Number four, oh, this boy looks very happy. He's got a toy robot for Christmas. Is it give presents or open presents? Yes, open presents. Number five, look at this boy. Eat turkey, cook turkey. Yeah, it's eat turkey. Number six, this is Mother's Day. Hug my mum, kiss my mum. Can you remember? What does unit one say? Hug my mum. Cool. Did you get six? If you got five or six, 
That's very good. If you've got six, that's excellent. Okay, here's part B, page number four. Number one. Now they give you the first line. We are making a sentence, a question and an answer. So number one has two sentences. It has a question and answer. Question, what is question? Kam tam. An answer. Uh, what is it? Kam dop. Okay. So we have the first answer. What do? What do you? Remember, I and you, we say do here. Do, not does. For I and you. What do you do on Halloween? Answer I. I and you. Action S. No. I wear a costume. Number two. Now, let's look at the question. The question word for the person is he. This is very important. You must look at this. What do we say with he in the question? What do he or what does he? Yeah, what does? Because does goes with he in a question sentence, not do. Do is for I and you. Does is for he and she. What does he do? This is the same. We change the first action word. The second action word stays the same. What does he do on Christmas Day? He open or opens? This is he, remember, not I and not you. Yeah, he opens presents. With he or she, action must have S. Did you get that all correct? I'm sure you did. Good job. OK, so that's the end of the lesson. What I want you to do is I want you to try and remember how we answer the question. What do you do on Christmas Day? What do you do on Valentine's Day? I want you to try and remember the two different answers. Remember, what do you do on Christmas Day is question number one. But there is also what does he or she do on Christmas Day? The answers are not the same, just like the questions are not the same. So I want you to really think about these answers and how they are a little bit different. So the answer will be I or you and then the action, and then the thing. The actions are hug, plant, make, eat, wear, open. And the things are my mum, trees, cards, turkey, a costume, and presents. I hug my mum. I plant trees. I make cards. You eat turkey. You wear a costume. You open presents. So these answers, these words are used with I and you. But let's also remember there is the question, what does he do? What does she do on Christmas Day, Valentine's Day? And this answer is different. He and she, action has S. He hugs his mum. She plants trees. He makes cards. She eats turkey. He wears a costume. She opens presents. Try and remember. Answer, I, you. Action plus thing. Answer, he, she. Action plus S. And thing. Please, 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 please practice. And I will see you for the next class. Good job. Bye.